Back in April 2019, I was in the market of buying a new video tripod with fluid head after my Manfrotto one broke down. Me being a bit cheap, I didn't want to spend $500 again, so I was looking for a cheaper alternative. My name is Sebastian from Tech Century, and I'm here to help you make the right purchasing decision. Welcome to my short but sweet full review of the newer professional video tripod. Before we are getting started, a short clarification. I bought this tripod from my own money back in 2019 and I don't have any affiliation with Newer. In terms of pricing and availability, Newer actually offers a variety of different video tripods and Amazon, with many of them lacking a clear product name, which makes this a bit tricky. The version I bought currently retails for around $130. As usual, you'll find my affiliate links below. Moving on to a short overview of the tripod, it has a maximum height of 64 inches and supports a maximum load of up to 17.6 pounds. It has a fluid head for smooth pans, a quick release plate and a safety switch as well as removable non-slip rubber feet. Talking about the good aspects first, the newer tripod is still standing and working fine even after a one and a half years, which is not always the case with lower priced gear. For the price it also leaves a pretty solid impression that certainly feels right but of course can keep up with more expensive gear from brands like Manfrotto. Important to note is that the tripod is only really stiff and sturdy up to a height of around 48 inches when the lowest column isn't extended. Another nice aspect is the way the second column is extended with the big grips here on the sides. This makes the extension easy and simple. In terms of horizontal movement, I was also very happy. These are easily usable for smooth product shot. When it comes to support weight, I never really got close to the advertised 16.7 pounds, but I can say that the tripod still feels solid at a height of 48 inches and a weight of around eight pounds with my A7 III, the Tamron 28-75 lens and the Firetech AK2000C gimbal. The mid-level spreader is also nice to have and helps with generating a solid stand. While horizontal movements work well with the head, vertical movements have really become a challenge lately since you can't properly adjust the resistance anymore. This often leads to ruined camera movements that I can't use. Another thing that really bothers me is the fact that I pretty regularly need to retighten the screws on the legs themselves because the legs are not held in place anymore when locking them. This mainly happens when you don't expand a column 100% but gets annoying really quick. The size of the tripod is another issue for me. It is already relatively short at a maximum height of 64 inches but the third column at the bottom is not really that sturdy since it only consists of a single pole element and not two. This reduces the flexibility significantly and the pole sometimes even bends outwards. I have been through a lot of ups and downs with the newer tripod and to be completely honest with you, I'm not sure how I feel about it. If you're mainly using it for a stationary setup that you don't move a lot, it probably is an excellent value. If you want to use it multiple times a week for recording different videos with up and down fluid camera shots, I would recommend spending more money though, because if you don't do that, you will end up in the same situation that I'm in right now, where I feel like I should have really gotten something more professional, but I've already spent more than $100 on this tripod that would then just gather dust. Do you have any experience with newer tripods? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe and hit the like button.